after Allied forces defeated Germany in World War II. Argentina became best place to hide after war, for one was already home to hundreds of thousands of German immigrants and had maintained close ties to Germany during the war. After 1945, Argentine President Juan Perón, himself drawn to fascist ideologies, enlisted intelligence officers and diplomats to help establish rat lines or escape routes via Spanish and Italian ports for many in the Third Reich, also giving aid. The Vatican in Rome, which in seeking to help Catholic war refugees also facilitated fleeing Nazis, sometimes knowingly, sometimes not. As thousands of Nazis and their collaborators poured into the continent, a sympathetic and sophisticated network developed, easing the transition for those who came after. While there is no evidence that Hitler himself escaped his doomsday bunker and crossed the ocean, such a network could have helped make it possible. Adolf Eichmann. The world's most wanted Nazi, Eichmann was the architect of Hitler's final solution to exterminate the Jews from Europe. The notorious SS Lieutenant Colonel masterminded the Nazi network of death camps that resulted in the murder of approximately six million Jews. Eichmann orchestrated the identification, assembly and transportation of European Jews to Auschwitz, Treblinka and other death camps in German-occupied Poland. After World War II ended, Eichmann went into hiding in Austria. With the aid of a Franciscan monk in Genoa, Italy, he obtained an Argentine visa and signed an application for a falsified Red Cross passport. In 1950, he boarded a steamship to Buenos Aires under the alias Ricardo Clement. Eichmann lived with his wife and four children in a middle-class Buenos Aires suburb and worked in a Mercedes-Benz automotive plant. Israeli Mossad agents captured Eichmann in a daring operation on May 11, 1960, then snuck him out of the country by doping and disguising him as an El Ail flight crew member. In Israel, Eichmann stood trial as a war criminal responsible for deporting Jews to death and concentration camps. He was found guilty after a four-month trial in Jerusalem and received the only death sentence ever issued by an Israeli court. He was hanged on May 31, 1962. Joseph Mengel Second only to Eichmann as a target of Nazi hunters, the doctor nicknamed the Angel of Death conducted Macau experiments among the prisoners at the Auschwitz death camp. An SS officer, Mengel was sent at the start of World War to the Eastern Front to repel the Soviets and received an Iron Cross for his bravery in service. After being wounded and declared unfit for active duty, he was assigned to the Auschwitz death camp. There, he used the prisoners, particularly twins, pregnant women and the disabled, as human guinea pigs. Mengel even tortured and killed children with his medical experiments. After World War II, Mengele spent three plus years in hiding in Germany. In 1949, with the help of a Catholic clergy member, the Angel of Death fled via Italy to Argentina, where he owned a mechanical equipment shop and remarried under his own name in Uruguay in 1958. The doctor lived in various Buenos Aires suburbs, but after hearing of Eichmann's capture, went underground, first in Paraguay, then in Brazil. West Germany had sent extradition requests to Argentina, which dragged its feet, claiming a review was necessary because the doctor's crimes had been political. Nazi hunters pursued him for decades, but Mengel ultimately drowned off the Brazilian coast in 1979, felled by a stroke. Because he had operated under an assumed name in Brazil, his death wasn't verified until his remains were forensically tested in 1985. Walter Ruff, an SS colonel, Raff was instrumental in the construction and implementation of the mobile gas chambers, responsible for killing an estimated 100,000 people during World War II. According to the United Kingdom's Mi-5 intelligence agency, Ralph oversaw the modifications of trucks that diverted their exhaust fumes into airtight chambers in the back of vehicles capable of carrying as many as 60 people. The trucks were driven to burial sites, and along the way victims would be poisoned and half-asphyxiated from the carbon monoxide. After persecuting Jews in Vichy, France controlled Tunisia during 1942 and 1943, Roff oversaw Gestapo operations in northwest Italy. There, as in Tunisia, Raff gained a reputation for utter ruthlessness, infamous for the indiscriminate execution of both Jews and local partisans. Allied troops arrested Raff at the end of the war. He escaped from an American power camp and hid in Italian convents. After serving as a military advisor to the president of Syria in 1948, 
He fled back to Italy and escaped to Ecuador in 1949 before settling in Chile, where he lived under his own name. Never captured, Ralph worked as a manager of a king crab cannery and actually spied for West Germany between 1958 and 1962. His whereabouts became known after he sent a letter requesting that his German naval pension be sent to his new address in Chile. He was arrested in 1962 in Chile but freed by the country's Supreme Court the following year. Chilean dictator Augusto Pinochet repeatedly resisted calls from West Germany for Roth's extradition. The Nazi died in Chile in 1984. German and Chilean mourners at his funeral gave Nazi salutes and chanted Hail Hitler, nicknamed the White Death for his proclivity to wear a white uniform and carry a whip. The Austrian-born Stangl worked on the Action T4 euthanasia program under which the Nazis killed those with mental and physical disabilities. He later served as the commandant of the Sobiber and Treblinka death camps in German-occupied Poland. More than 100,000 Jews are believed to have been murdered during his tenure at Sobiber before he moved to Treblinka, where he was directly responsible for the Nazis' second deadliest camp, where 900,000 were killed. After the end of the war, Stengel was captured by the Americans, but escaped to Italy from an Austrian prison camp in 1947. Assisted by the Nazi-sympathising Austrian Bishop Aloha Hudel, Stengel travelled to Syria on a Red Cross passport before sailing to Brazil in 1951. He was employed by Volkswagen in Sao Paulo under his own name when he was arrested in 1967 after being tracked down by Simon Wiesenthal, a Holocaust survivor and well-known Nazi hunter. Extradited to West Germany, Stangl was tried and found guilty of the mass murder of 900,000 people. He turned to life imprisonment. He died of heart failure in 19... An Austrian Nazi, Schwamberger, was an SS commandant in charge of three labour camps in the Jewish ghettos of Nazi-occupied Poland during World War II. Bendishing a horsewhip and a German shepherd trained to attack people, he arrived in 1942 at the Roswato forced labour camp, where prisoners died by the hundreds, many shot by Schwamberger himself. In 1943, he organised the mass execution of 500 Jewish prisoners at the Przemysl camp. He personally executed 35 people at Przemysl, shooting them in the back of the neck, and dispatched Jews to the Auschwitz death camp. In Mielek in 1944, he cleansed the city of Jews. His path was littered with corpses, said the Nazi hunter Simon Wiesenthal. He interested in Austria in 1945. Schwamberger escaped to Italy in 1948 and months later arrived in Argentina, where he lived openly under his own name and obtained citizenship. Gerhard Bohn A lawyer and SS officer, Bohn headed the Third Reich's work group of sanatoriums and nursing homes and was responsible for the administrative logistics of Hitler's Action T4 euthanasia program. Claiming to be a mercy killer, Bohm was instead among the leaders who carried out a systemic extermination in order to purify the Orion race and avoid state expenditures on those with mental and physical disabilities. All told, the program killed some 200,000 Germans with incurable diseases, mental illnesses and other handicaps. The victims were led to gas chambers in the institutions and then cremated. The program served as a trial run for the mass extermination camps, later operated by the SS. Boyne was thrown out of the Nazi party after submitting a report accusing his agency of fraud and corruption. Boyne fled to Argentina in 1949 disguised as a technician for the military under the country's president, Juan Perón. He later admitted that Perón's helpers gave him money and identify papers. After a coup deposed Perón, Boyne returned to Germany and was indicted by a court in Frankfurt in 1963. Released on bail, Boney once again fled to Argentina from where he was finally extradited three years later as the first Nazi criminal surrendered by Argentina. Declared unfit to stand trial, Bone survived another 15 years before his death in 1981. So, the Ratlines Kermanian. were systems of escape routes for German Nazis and other fascists fleeing Europe from 1945 onwards in the aftermath of World War II. These escape routes mainly led toward havens in Latin America, particularly in Argentina, though also in Paraguay, Colombia, Juan Brazil, Uruguay, Mexico, Chile, Peru, Guatemala, Ecuador, and Bolivia, as well as the United States, Canada, Australia, Spain, and Switzerland. Thank you for watching. Your time and attention are greatly appreciated. 
If you have any more questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. Until next time, take care.